good morning children so our next topic is intersection of sets the intersection of two sets a and b denoted by this symbol okay a and this is read as a intersection b is the set of all elements which are common to both a and b so if you are given two sets a and b and you are asked to do the intersection find the intersection that means you are right you will write a set okay which will contain only the common elements okay in both the sets so thus in mathematically a intersection b is all the elements such that x is in a as well as in b or sometimes if it's like given that x belongs to intersection a and b that means x is in a and in b also and if it says that x is not in intersection it means that x is either not in a or not in b let's try to understand by example let a this set contains 1 3 5 7 9 and b 2 3 5 7 11 13 and find the intersection okay a intersection b so we will write a intersection b then we'll write uh, in place of here just write set a then intersection symbol then b and you just see which are common in both okay so here you can see one is in a but not in b so we don't have one in the intersection three is here three is here so three five five so five seven seven fine nine is here but not here so this is all okay next if we have a set a which contains all natural numbers and they are factor of 12 next b set of all natural numbers which are factor of 18 we have to find intersection so first we will write them in the roster form so a will be this 1 2 3 4 6 12 set of all natural numbers which are factors of 12 this is set of all natural numbers which are factor of 18 now we have to do the intersection okay find the intersection so we'll write only the common elements lying in both the sets so we get 1 2 3 6 next we have this set a this is an open set 2 comma 4 and this is b closed interval 3 comma 5 okay this is open interval 2 comma 4 this is closed interval 3 comma 5 we have to find intersection so here a intersection b in this if you see over here this is a open set so all real numbers lying between 2 and 4 but 2 and 4 are excluded here all real numbers lying between 3 and 5 here 3 and 5 are included okay so if you find the intersection you will find that intersection will be 3 comma 4 okay which is the interval closed at left and open in right okay disjoint sets two sets a and b are said to be disjoint if the intersection is empty okay so that means two sets will be called disjoint if they have nothing in common okay next intersecting sets two sets a and b are said to be intersecting if the intersection is non-empty okay so if you have two sets and you could see some elements common in them okay at least one element common in them then you can say that the sets are intersecting sets okay for example this set a is this set b is this set c is this okay now we have to find a intersection b a intersection c and let's see what we have to conclude so here a intersection b you see you see that it is coming empty because there is nothing common in them okay and a intersection c you can see you are getting three five seven so here a and c are intersecting sets and a and b are disjoint sets so a and b are disjoint sets while a and c are intersecting sets next difference of sets for any sets a and b the difference a minus b is defined as this okay so if you have got two sets a and b then dif the difference let's say i am looking for a minus b so a minus b will be the set which will contain all the elements lying only in set a okay a minus b means we will write down only those elements which are lying only in a okay so 
So mathematically this, and if you are given that x belongs to a minus b, that means x belongs to a and not in b. Let's see an example. Here a is a set of natural numbers which are factor of 6 and b is a set of natural number which are factor of 8. We have to find a minus b and we have to find b minus a. We have to find the difference. So here a in roster form is 1, 2, 3, 6 and b is 1, 2, 4, 8. We have to find a minus b. So this is set a, this is set b. So we will write only those elements in a minus b which are lying in a only, not in b. So here you can see that 1 is in a as well as in b. Okay, so we will not write in the difference set. Okay, here you can see 2 is here, 2 is here also. So we will not write. So that means we are not writing the common one. Okay, 3 is only in a. So we will write 3. 6 is only in a. We will write 6. So a minus b is this. Next b minus a. So here you can see 1, here also 1, here 2, here 2. Here is 4 and 4 is only in b, not in a. So we will write 4. 8 is here not in b so we'll write 8 so b minus a you got this next is symmetric difference of two sets the symmetric difference of two sets a and b written as this a and something triangle b type okay so this is how we write a and this triangle and b that means asymmetric b is the set of all elements which belong either to a minus b or b minus a but not in a intersection b okay so here symmetric difference of the set a and b will contain all those elements which are lying either in a minus b or b minus a but not in a intersection b so mathematically a uh, difference symmetric difference of a and b is equal to a minus b union b minus a or you can write it this way a union b minus a intersection b so for example here i have taken a set a which contains 1 2 3 4 b contains 2 3 5 6 then symmetric difference of a and b will be a minus b union b minus a so a minus b let's try to do a minus b so here you can see only this one is only in a so in symmetric uh, in a minus b you will get one two is in both so we will not write three is both four is only in a so we'll write four over here okay now next b minus a so here you can see two is in both b and a three is here three is there five is here so five is only in b yes so we'll write here in b minus a six is only in b so we'll write six over here now we have to do the union so I get 4, 5, 6. So symmetric difference of A, B, I get this. Next is complement of a set. So let U be the universal set and let A be contained in U. Okay, so here U is universal set and A is subset of the universal set U. Then the complement of A is denoted as A prime. Okay, or it as you say A prime or AC okay or U minus A is defined as this A prime is equal to all those elements of U which are not in A okay so if X belongs to A complement that means x is not in a so let us try to understand by example if you have an an universal set 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and you have got a set this 2 4 6 8 so we have to find this a prime that means complement of a and and in this we have to find firstly we have to find a prime that means a complement and again we have to find that complement of that okay so here a complement is u minus a yes so write the universal set then minus and this that means difference of u and a so u minus a means this will contain all those elements which are only in u so we get 
वन थ्री फाइव सेवन नेक्स्ट ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट होल कॉम्प्लीमेंट यस दैट मीन्स यू माइनस ए प्राइम यस सो वी राइट द यूनिवर्सल सेट देन दैट ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट ओवर यर देन वील राइट ओन इन दिस सेट वील हैव ओनली दोज एलिमेंट्स विच आर इन यू ओनली सो यर वी गेट टू फोर सिक्स एट दैट इज इक्वल टू ए ओके सो यर वी सॉ दैट इफ यू हैव गॉट सेट ए फर्स्टली यू फाउंड फाउंड द कॉम्प्लीमेंट एंड अगेन यू फाउंड द कॉम्प्लीमेंट ओके देन यू विल गेट द सेम सेट ओके नेक्स्ट सम रिजल्ट ऑन कॉम्प्लीमेंटेशन If A is contained in the universal set, okay, where U is the universal set, then U prime, that means complement of the universal set will be always an empty set. Complement of an empty set will be always the universal set. Complement of a complement set is that set A only, okay. So here A prime, again whole prime, you will get A itself. A union, A complement. You will get universal set. A intersection, A complement. You will get an empty set. Okay. So this is all for the third lecture on sets.